Cigarclub.com, the first ever intelligent cigar subscription. Also, an official sponsor for Raw and Real TV. YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Raw and Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another banger, baby. Today, we're getting back to that nitty gritty. We're getting back to that Raw and Real content that everybody loves, man. We're gonna do a cigar pairing today. We got the Crown Heads, Warrior Shots, the newest size that they released, and we're gonna be pairing that with the Talisker Storm. Cannot wait to pair this. I think this is gonna be a really, really good one. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, y'all, back with another cigar pairing. I know a lot of people have been asking me, man, we, we can't wait to see when your next pairing is. Finally here, got the Crown Heads Warrior Shots XX and we're pairing it with the Talisker Storm. Really, really excited about this. I think this will be a really nice pairing. I think they're gonna play off each other, complement each other really well. So first we'll talk about the cigar. Obviously this is produced by Crown Heads as I just stated. It is a four by 50, nice little short cigar, man. Uh, I did some measurements before we started recording and mine came in at four inches, right at four inches. And the ring gauge was a 49, which sounds about right. I've had this cigar for a That's about 48, 40, uh, I give it 49. So I've had this cigar for a couple of months. It's been sitting in my humidor. You guys know I like to keep my cigars cool. So it's very normal for them to kind of differentiate between one or two ticks from where they're built at. Uh, this cigar was provided to me actually by John Huber. So really, I want to give a big shout out to my dog, John Huber. Guys over there at Crown Heads doing some really good things as usual. Really excited about what they have planned this year. I know they do plan on uh, introducing a new size of the Warriors line too, so I'm excited about that. Definitely gonna be trying that out. Been a huge fan of all the other sizes, including this one too, so. Not really much else to say, so I will give you the breakdown of this one. This one has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper as Warriors, you see, the, it's probably not uh, too far-fetched that you think it would be a Mexican San Andreas binder. Has an Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, and it has fillers from the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. Uh, nice, the tooth fairy is in on this one. Got some nice tooth to it. Uh, really a flat, flat dark brown wrapper to it. It's nice, very nice looking. A nice double cap on it. Kind of woody on that, uh, on that, that smell. But uh, got tight and visible seams, some veins presence, but it, it's a very nice looking cigar. Just a nice quick smoke, man. Uh, really, I've become a really big fan of the shorter smokes too. You guys know I'm a father, so a lot of days when I have my son, I don't really have a lot of time to smoke sometimes because he's always running around doing things. So smokes like this, Coronas, stuff like that are really becoming, I'm becoming a really big fan of those cigars. So, all right, so now we'll talk about the whiskey or the scotch. This is the Talisker Storm. So this is produced on the Isle of Skye. It's the only distillery on that aisle. This is a really special bottle to me. And saying that because I feel like, uh, you know, I've, I've been a really big drinker for a couple of years, but I think that a lot of people like whiskey aficionados, people that are whiskey enthusiasts, even in the bourbon world too, not just scotch alone, but we've all become accustomed to age stated whiskeys like 12 year old vintages, 15, 16. Same thing with this, Talisker does a 10 year, but the problem was that the demand was becoming so great that the distilleries or the companies weren't able to keep up with the demand. So now you, you find where companies are blending 15 and 20 year old whiskeys with two or three year old or four year old whiskeys and putting them together trying to produce a good quality product. Well, most of the time I feel like things that I've tried, I haven't become a really big fan of them, but this is an exception to the rule. I think that this is a very good no age stated whiskey. Also the Abelauer Abuna is a very good one too. So um, this one comes in at 45.8% alcohol by volume. And what's cool about this one too is that it is a uh, aged and recharred American whiskey barrels. So they take the barrels from over in America, they bring them over to Scotland, rechar the barrels, put the dram in there, let it age. It gives it a whole different characteristic, a whole different depth, which I think most no age stated whiskeys, that's the problem for me that they lack depth of flavor and balance, so to speak. So when, they, when they're when uh, they combining these older whiskeys with younger ones, it just sometimes they don't work, but this is a really good example. So this bottle cost me around $65. At one point it was becoming very popular and I saw it as north as $100, but the last bottle I bought was in the mid 60s. 
Forgot to mention the cigar too, it retails for $5.45. You might be able to find it a little cheaper than that somewhere in there, but you're gonna be in that $5 neighborhood. Very good value, very good bang for your book. So we'll get into nosing this. Man, it's just, it's just nothing like nosing that scotch, man. I know it's uh, an acquired taste and an acquired smell. You know, a lot of people don't like it, but that medicinal saltiness, that sea briny saltiness, smokiness, sweet. There's some sweetness in there, a little bit of floral. You know, like, um, the best thing to, des to describe a great Isla scotch or good scotches they have that barbecue quality. You know how you have the smoky, you, you smoke meat, but then you have sweet sauce or you, you have this, it's, it's kind of remi reminiscent of that. Very good layered complex nose. Very good. That floral note, that floral and honey is really good on there too, so. All right, we'll cut this cigar, light it, we'll pair these things and let you know what we got. Wood. A little brown sugar, a little cinnamon. All right. Well, I was gonna use my the Jeep lighter today, but I think I'm a I think I'm gonna stick with my matches today. So. Really good coffee and black chocolate already. I'm tasting. I know when you're lighting it, you're getting the combustion, but I can taste that through it. Really good. These are just good cigars, man. A lot of smoke coming off that. Almost, rem well, not as severe, but it's a lot of smoke. Well, a yeah, little reminiscent of a Drew Estate almost. A lot of foot smoke off there. I don't know if it's picking up on that, but. A lot of foot smoke. Yeah, you're getting a nice black coffee. Dark chocolate is in there. Oak wood is already in there now too. Black pepper is probably about it. Mm. Probably about a six. But that that coffee and that dark chocolate is really, really good, really prominent. So, Let's see what we got on this talisker. Very true to the nose, getting that honey, floral quality to it. Nice, nice long lingering finish on that too. Getting it, getting some saltiness in there too. Very, very good. I don't. I'm gonna try to see if I can pick. If we can pick up the legs on this thing, but these have, especially to be a no age stated whiskey. These have some really good legs. I don't know if it's gonna show on it, but and we see those legs clinging to the glass. So that's. For no age stated, that's that's pretty good. All right, we'll get through this first third. Come back, let you guys know what we got. All right, so we're making our way through this first third, getting into the second third. Very good flavor profile on this cigar too. You're gonna get, like I was saying before, you're gonna get a, a nice oak in there. You got a nice black coffee base. You're getting some dark chocolate in there a little bit. Little bit, very little bit of cream in there too. Like on that, on that wood, on that chocolate, you can detect a little bit of creaminess. Pairing is going very good too. Intensifying the flavors, but also when I combine both of them, there's a nice white chocolate taste that's in there too. That I'm, I've been smoking without drinking and just trying to see if that's making sure that that's the pairing is what's causing that flavor. And it is. It's a really nice white chocolate. Burn line just started getting a little bit wavy. But it's been been really perfect other than that. Draw has been good. See the nice white ash stand, nice and compact. Just a very good, short, quick, quick cigar. I mean, think I've been smoking now for probably um, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. I had to actually slow down. It was starting to get hot where I was holding the band at, so I had to actually slow myself down. But the flavors of this thing is, is very good. I feel like this is one of Crown Head's best products right now too. And it's budget friendly. So I think I've told John this on, uh, a couple of Zoom calls that we've been on and we were on Cigar Prop show too uh, a couple weeks back and I was just telling him and I think a lot of people in the chat were praising him about this too and uh, I want to give a huge shout out to him too because 
I know with everything going on, a lot of companies have decided to, to do price increase and he's been one of the few companies that didn't raise his price. So huge shout out to John, man. Just, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again, class egg, but this blend here is a complete winner. Really excited about the new sizes that are coming out. I'm, I'm excited about that because I've been enjoying all the sizes in this too. So um, we'll keep on smoking through this second third and uh, let you know. Oh, body flavor and strength. I would say the body is a good medium, starting to get to that medium to full. Same thing with flavors. And, the, and I would say the same thing with the strength. So everything is on the healthy side of a medium, starting to kind of slowly get to that medium to full. But everything's been going good. So uh, we'll get back at the end of the second third, let you know of any changes. So y'all hang tight. All right, y'all, we're finishing up on this Crown Heads Warriors Shots XX. Very good flavors on this thing. Still a lot of the same. Even picking up a little bit of a nuttiness quality now. Still getting that nice white chocolate when I'm combining the scotch with the cigar. Very, very good pairing. Excellent pairing. Before we get to the score, y'all know what time it is. I ain't got to say it. It's been a while, but for all the new people, we're going to do the marriage, which is the essence of combining the cigar and the spirit together to form that, that, that just divine matrimony, just that combination, just that you got to have it when, you can, when you're doing a... Uh, pairing i know a lot of people hate when people do it now contrary to that puro maduro always nicked the head and dipped it in the glass i don't do that i just blow the smoke in it but i still feel like it is necessary and people that are wanting to complain about it or whatever as he stated before too if you're drinking the drink and you're smoking the smoke your your mouth and your saliva is all saturated with the spirit so it does not matter so for all my cigar snobs out there fuck you Oh man, it was a weak marriage. Let me get a little bit more smoke in there, man. Got to do it right. It's been a while. There we go. As y'all see, the smoke from the cigar and the spirit combined in this one. Got you a nice marriage going. Oh yeah, creamy, just super creamy, white chocolate, fantastic. All right, man, body flavor and strength are about the same. Still on that high side of medium, low side of medium to full. Very good cigar. For $5, it's gonna be hard to beat this flavor profile construction from a, a great company. So I'll go ahead and score this. Spoiler alert, I already think this is an elite cigar. All right, so for flavor, I gave it 18 out of 20. Nice, clean flavors from the beginning all the way to the finish. Draw and burn, both get a 20 a piece. Excellent. I did have to do, uh, not technically, a, well, I guess it would be a relight. Like, some of it was lit, but I had to come around the edges and touch it up just a little bit. Still not going to penalize it. Been, been excellent. Hasn't uh, altered the smoking experience or the experience of the pairing at all, so still perfect in my eyes. Gave the complexity a 16 out of 20, strength a 16 out of 20. Um, there were a lot of nice flavors in there. I wouldn't, but I would say the the brute of the the brute what was leading the pack was pretty consistent most of the way. So that's why I was gonna say like you got some little nuances and stuff in there, but for the most part, the 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 uh, concentration of the flavor and everything has been good. So overall score on this is gonna be a 90 out of 100. Elite cigar. I'm gonna give the pairing a 90 out of 100 as well. Elite, elite, elite. Been fantastic. So y'all already know, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And y'all already know to be driven, never motivated. We're going to catch y'all on the next one.